All right, welcome to the March team call for Team Run the World, our first official call with our new name. Um, super excited for this, and I am really excited because I have come up with a system that I think will give you guys all the, hopefully, the tools to recruit to coaching opportunity with confidence and feel good about it and know what's going on basically because i know that um i mean i started in coaching primarily selling retail sales and um, i would mention the coaching opportunity to a few people and hope that they would join me and um, quickly realize that that wasn't a very effective way to actually communicate coaching with other people um, so over time, I've learned a lot, and I am actually going through this leadership course, and it's an advanced leadership course. I went through a similar course last year with the same guy, the guy who runs Virtual Upline named Bob Heilig, and he's all about systems, systems, systems. So I have come a long way if you have been around or you're newer, either way, basically almost two years ago, we had like no systems, literally none. So I have, you know, created the Google Drive. I've come up with the new coach onboarding system. I've like started laying the tracks. And this is one that's just really standing out to me as one that we are completely missing a system. There's actually no system at all. So my goal with this is to implement this system and give you guys the confidence to invite and also, um, yeah, basically that. So I'm gonna start the presentation. Let me share my screen. Oh, there it goes. All right. It does say it's recording, right? You can see it somewhere. Yeah, you can see it. All right, so inviting to coaching with confidence. Like I said, growing a team has been a, a game changer for me. Um, not only has it been inc incredibly fulfilling, but it's also obviously really, or it has very much increased my income, which has um, been a really big deal for me and my family. I'm now making the full-time income, working part-time hours, working for myself, and that's kind of been my goal from the get-go. And now I have even bigger dreams. And along the way, you know, it's not just about but the money. It's about building a team of like-minded women, seeing other people have their lives changed, and growing a community of people that leading the mission that you want to lead. So as you know, we like, I think changing our team name to Team Run the World has really like even given me more excitement about growing our team because I feel like now we have a like a more of a a solid mission, if that makes sense. Like I feel like many of us, if not all of us are runners and just kind of like-minded goal oriented women. But at the same time, we're all really busy and we're all, a lot of us are moms. And um, just like really putting that community into place and, at, and like giving it a name has given me a lot of motivation. And I have found myself, it's easier for me to even start have being inviting to coaching because I feel like I'm more centered around this mission. Um, so the main reason why you should be inviting to coaching is because you could change someone's life. This opportunity, whether you want it to go a certain direction or not, can change people's lives in so many ways. As you guys know, it can keep you accountable to your own goals. It can bring someone in for, in a community. I know for me, like after I had the twins and I was so freaking tired and lonely at times because we were home and it was hard to get out, like having you guys who were here back then and that community was huge and having the fit and balance tribe to lean into and my challenge groups even was just like a great way to keep myself accountable and um like i said you also get to unlock the power of our compensation plan so once you become an emerald coach you start that engine getting the emerald as soon as possible is extremely important that's just adding two personally sponsored coaches um usually one of them is your husband or your spouse um, or partner, or mom, or boat, like one of each, um, and then probably like one of your closer friends or customers or someone who loves Shakeology and wants to get a discount, like from the get-go. Um, and the reason you want to do that, as I've shared in the whole call that you can watch on a separate training called the Emerald Call, is that it 
once you're there, you start to accrue volume and that volume can build and build and build. Um, and the beauty is now that I added, I added my husband way back when I first started. And now that he is really starting to like cash out on all that volume too. So growing a team helps you do that. And because you guys are on a growing team like mine, you are also getting the benefit of other coaches being placed under you that you did not put there. So that is huge. If you, so if you have like a strong leg, you notice that people are getting placed under you. If you start, if you get even just one working coach who turns into a rock star on that other leg, you're going to start making a lot of money. Um, income disclaimer in the sense of you need to put in the hard work, diligence, all of that. It's not like it's an automatic thing, but it does really pay off. And you can learn about the compensation plan by going into the coach back, back office if you really want to explore how it works. But trust me when I say you want to build a team because it's awesome. Um, if you are brand new or newer and you're like, man, I don't even know what I would do. Um, think of this like new person as a buddy to learn and grow with. Like most likely if you're starting out, this is going to be someone that you recruit that you already know and you guys are going to do it together. So our upline, as you know, Shannon and Kelly, Shannon or Kelly was one of Shannon's first coaches. I believe she recruited her in her first month or second month. And imagine Kelly is probably at this point, 70% of Shannon's downline volume, 80%. It's probably 90% to be honest. It's a lot <laughs> because Kelly has created a very thriving organization and I'm with under Kelly. So if Shannon had been afraid in those early days to reach out to Kelly and invite her, she was started as a discount coach, but um, she wouldn't have the organization she has today. So don't be afraid to invite at all <laughs> early on. So fears that you gotta let go of, because I know it's, it's easier said than done, right? And I know this because I started with all these fears. I remember being, even though I loved our products, I loved sharing them and I, I, I totally believed in them. I still had this little fear and I was like, I don't know, what are other people gonna think? Like, does anyone actually wanna do this with me? Um, I don't know if they've, I've got someone, if I could even lead them, like what would I even do with them? Um, those were fears that held me back for far too long. And that's why I'm really passionate about telling you guys that I had those and that they held me back for so long because I regret, I'm happy with the way things have gone because you guys are all here and we, and my team and you know, everything has progressed, but I do wish that I had just put myself out there a little bit earlier. Cause the worst is when I've had this happen where I wanted to invite someone or I thought they'd be a great coach. And then you find out that they signed up with someone else and you're like, man, I didn't even invite them. Uh, and so it's like, man, you don't want to like miss that chance just because you were afraid. And or, like I said, again, like, remember this could change someone's life. It literally could, it could, they could be the next top coach or they could just find community. They could, it could take them out of depression. It could get them in the best shape of their life. It could like, personally, I've seen many of you guys go through the same thing. This has made me a better person. Like I have become more positive. I've been able to take myself out of like the poor mindset. I've it's the personal development side has been huge and I've grown as a leader and as a business person. Um, I, I like, actually, I just literally threw away the, my CPA renewal came in the mail and I'm not re I'm not re, um, re subscribing or whatever. I'm not saying you have to give up your career, but it just, because of this, it's like, even if I know I won't be a coach forever, I've gotten so many skills related to leadership, marketing, sales, that I'm like, I'm never going back to accounting. I didn't like it. And it's great to know that I've, I, I'm confident in the skills that I've acquired through this. And um, you just never know. Um, another thing I want to say is that people don't mind being recruited, especially if you do it in a good way. Think of anything in life. Okay. Like if you get a call from a recruit, say I was in accounting, so I get calls from recruiters all the time. Now it's like emails. Although they don't really call me anymore about accounting jobs, but um, if you get a call from them, you're kind of like, oh, like a tiny bit of you is like, oh, that recruiter called. But then big part of you is like, they want me. Someone wants me. Like I'm a, you know what I mean? Like you're like, well, I wonder what the income for that job is, even though you don't actually care about the job. Um, and it's same to go for like sorority recruitment. That's a positive word. Recruiting for like college athletes. That's a positive word. Don't think of it as a negative word. Recruiting is not negative. It is positive. You're inviting something, people to do something that you think is awesome. And I don't want you to think, don't wrap up your credibility in what your rank is, what your income or your experience is. Because I know this held me back for so long because like I said, income is important to me and it doesn't have to be important to you, but that is one of my things that's important to me. I, 
um, yeah, I'm just income driven. That's part of, I want I want to have a life of financial freedom. I've always saw that for me in this opportunity, even though I didn't realize I wasn't doing what I needed to do to get there, but I have, I am getting there now. And I always held me back because I was like, well, I'm not making enough. Once I'm making this and if even that, like even being able to say making a full-time income on part-time hours, that was like something I wanted to be able to say, but I, I recruited, I brought all of you guys in long before I was like, before I was doing that. Cause that's only happened in the last few months. Um, and it wasn't about income. I don't think any of you guys were like, like wondering or like upset about, I don't know, or wondering about my income. You were, you saw the excitement I had. You saw how I, I was helping people. You saw that I was part of this community. You saw all these other things. It was not because of my rank. Um, one thing I do do though is share about coaching online often so that you are actually seeing that I do it. And if you never show anyone that there's an opportunity for coaching, they're never going to, they're not going to know that even if you, once you invite them, they'll start knowing that. But if you're not showing up and talking about it. So what you can share about coaching is the community. And like, we do that by sharing like screenshots of our zoom calls, please get to real live events. Please come to summit. It's not only a game changer in terms of like learning, but it is a game changer because you get to be there and you create massive FOMO for everyone who's back at home being like, man, I want to be there with them. They're having so much fun. Look how much like this awesome girls weekend. Um, so you can show that through just your excitement. Like if it, like, like I've said, I get off, like if I'm get off a call like this, I usually am pretty amped up or if I'm speaking and then I like do a story where I'm talking and I say like, this is what I love about coaching and I'll just share genuinely. Um, don't get too caught up in like it being perfect or just share excitement when you're excited, share. Um, you can also share your vision for what you want this to do for you, like what you want to be able to pay for with it, if it's money or what you want to be able to do in terms of time freedom or what you, how many women you want to be able to help, um, with their health and fitness or just share, don't be afraid to share where you're going before you get there. Because I know this is the scary, probably the scariest part. Cause you're like, what if I say that I'm going somewhere and then I never get there, but people love the journey. They love to see the journey of someone growing. And I can't tell you how much feedback I've gotten where I'll send out a coach invite and they'll be like, oh, you know, I'm not really interested, but it's been really great seeing you, your journey through this. It's really inspiring. Um, and you can also share like the income potential of what you like. A lot of people don't even realize that this is something that could pay you full time at full time or that could give you I mean multiple. I just told my mom the other day because <laughs> I was like, mom, I've been, I was ranked 36 in the company. So the ranking is not based on your income. It's based on your, basically your momentum. So we have great momentum. That's why we're ranked 36. It's because of leadership points that I, that we've accumulated based on your guys' actions. And so I told my mom, I'm like, I'm 34 or 36 in the company. And I was like, it's kind of funny because the girl who makes $3.5 million in the company is number 34 and I'm number 30 or she was 38. She was like right around me. And I was like, kind of crazy that this girl that makes $3.5 million is, um, is literally like next in line to me. It made, I mean, I'm honestly struggling with a little bit of imposter syndrome. Like, do I belong here? And that's normal to feel that way too. If you're feeling the exact same way, if maybe you do have a few working coaches now and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Is this like, am I really a leader? Like you're going to kind of deal with that, but just know that that's normal. And you just got to keep learning because you're never the, one of my favorite things that Bob Heilig says is that you're never if you look at what you've done in the past to predict your future, you're never going anywhere. So you need to, instead of looking at what you've done in the past and say, I've never recruited a coach, I've recruited two coaches and they both quit, which is normal also. Um, I've, you know, X, Y, Z, I'm brand new. Look at the future, look at what you can do and just, it might scare you a little bit, but set some goals around it. Um, you can even share like small wins that you've had with your income, like this week's check, paid for this. Or if you're a brand new coach, like say, I've already earned back my investment. And you know, with my, I already got, I basically got my, my first month's enrollment in the workout programs paid for. And that's a huge win. Cause I know a lot of people are worried about losing money, right? When you talk about coaching, um, like I said, trips are amazing. You can even talk about our running retreat, even though we haven't planned the date and just share that you're excited about it. Even if you don't even know if you're going to be able to go say like, we are excited We're our team is planning a run retreat. We can't, I can't wait. Like just share those things. And this can be in like a main post. This can be in stories. This can be in all different ways. Um, 
but just also just remind yourself that these are all the things that make you excited about coaching and that you have plenty to offer. Be confident in your ability that you can figure out how to mentor and train someone because first of all, I have a system in place for onboarding that I'm re that's really locked in that I um, am confident you can put your coach in. We have the new coach workshop. I will help you. Do not worry. And one last thing on this subject is that um, if you had a new coach and they were super successful, you would never be like, oh, this new coach, they're so successful because of me. Everything I did, they didn't do anything. So if you have a coach and they're not successful, it's not because of you either. So you need to remove that and say, I am show presenting them the opportunity. I'm bringing them into the community. I'm giving them the resources. Whether or not they're successful is up to them. So don't be worried about recruiting just because you're afraid of that person failing. All right, so this is the system. The first thing I wanna say about the coach inviting system is that you need to let it work for you. The, the way that it's set up is there's, we're basically gonna be asking people to move through a series of third, what we call third party tools. So third party tools are videos, info session, like different things that they can go check out and then make the decision whether coaching is, up, is right for them. This takes the ball completely out of your court because instead of you being the one explaining everything and, and kind of making yourself look like an expert and probably not knowing everything, you're instead just pointing them in direction of something else that they can get more information and come back to you and then move on to the next step, if that makes sense. So really you need to look at the inviting process of you're sorting through the prospects to figure out which ones are interested and what's the, if it's the right time for them. So there's a analogy of three apples that I, often tell, and this is another Bob thing, but um, basically when, you, when you're doing inviting and you're talking to people, you're gonna come across three kinds of apples and say they're all in a big barrel and your job is just to sort out and find those red juicy apples. The red apples are the people who are like, I am ready, I wanna be a coach, I'm ready to go, sign me up. So these are more rare. Then there's a bunch of apples that are um, yellow app, I think it's yellow, <laughs> yellow, let's call them yellow apples. And they are, it's, they might be interested, but it's probably not the right time. So when you invite them, they ignore you, or they say maybe later, or they say not for me, but they're still watching. So maybe, like I said, these people might not give you any indication that they're interested, but they're still watching. They haven't unfollowed you. <laughs> and then there's the rotten apples. So I would say most people are those yellow. It's like 90% are the yellow. And then you get the rotten apples who are just Kind of, kind of negative and they're just grumpy people and they just say something bad like mean to you and those ones hurt the most because you're like that one thing someone said lets you affect your desire to continue to go and this goes with inviting to challenge groups and coaching and you just gotta when someone does something like that which honestly is rare I haven't come across a ton but some people come across more it's just like a numbers game right you might just happen to get more rotten apples than I have gotten um, you just move on from those people. There's nothing you can do to convince them that this is the right thing for them. Just move on. Only be like happy people only. Um, so when you go through this process, kind of just watch what people do. If they're willing to keep going through the steps, then they're good. If they're not, then they're just not interested right now or it's the wrong time. I kind of already covered this, the why tools are important. So tools basically help you build more confidence because you're no longer the expert and you can just say, hey, do you wanna watch this video and learn more about coaching? And the person can say yes or no. That's a lot easier than being like, hey, have you ever thought about doing what I do as a coach? And then if they say, hmm, yeah, I have thought about it, then you're like, what do I say now? I have no idea what to say. And then you're like, Nicole, what do I say? This person just said they're interested. And then I, we were texting back and forth and we don't, and then we're not getting them the right information. Instead you say, you invite them to the tool. And I've, I've been doing this. I've only been doing it for like a week, but I've, I'm recorded the first tool and I've been inviting people to watch it. It's a five minute video. And I've been surprised by how many people, first of all, how easy it is for me to invite people to watch it. And how many people are like, sure, I'll take a look. I'll watch it. Um, so this allows you to stop talking and let the tools do the story. And I know when I first started inviting to coaching, I would 
I would talk way too much <laughs> as I am right now. I would just talk and talk and then people would just like run away. I think, I don't know. I would just like blurt everything I loved about coaching and it wouldn't, it wasn't very effective. So then last thing about tools that's amazing is they are duplicatable. So basically as soon as you start talking to someone about challenge groups, about coaching, they're thinking, can I do this too? Can I do this too? And so if you come at them and you're just like making yourself look like an expert and you know, all, you have all this knowledge to share and you're just talk, 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 talking, they're thinking, I don't know what she's talking about. I can't learn this. How do I do this? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. So tools basically prove to them that they can do it. All they have to do is invite someone and invite the, and send them the tool. Okay. So I'm going to go through the system of the tools and, um, you might not need all of these. I'll explain that at the end. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about actually who to invite. So my challenge to you is to make a list of 50 people or 100 people, depending on your goals or more. Um, so write down every challenger that you've ever had join a group ever. Not ones that participated, not ones that didn't participate, just everyone. Um, anyone who's liked a post you've done about coaching, and if you haven't done a post about coaching, then anyone who's liked a post about your fitness. Um, and then anyone who follows you and shares fitness or their life in general online. Um, and then people who watch your stories. So what I want you to do is just, this is where, this is where you just need to not prejudge. Um, don't assume that this girl, because she, you know, is a lawyer like Christina Delgado doesn't need coaching or this girl that's in great shape and isn't a fantastic runner doesn't need coaching or doesn't need our challenge groups because she doesn't need to lose weight. Like I've said this a lot of times, like Shelly Smith is a CEO of a business. She does not need the income from coaching. And luckily I had just listened to a training from Bob Heilig like a few weeks before I invited her and it said, you want those people who are smart, who are driven, who get it, who get business, who get, you know, those are great candidates to be inviting to coaching. I don't think I would have had the guts to invite her if I didn't listen to that. So don't prejudge anyone. If they, you never know what's going on in someone's heart. And some they shared this at new leader conference. It's like, um, a woman who was there said that she started, you know, she works for Beachbody. And at one point she got like, she discovered that one of her friends from college or an acquaintance from college became a coach. And she said to her, you know, or was a coach back then. And she kind of, the girl asked her like, how come you never invited me to coaching? And she said, oh, I looked at your life and you looked so happy. Like, I didn't think you needed this. And that was like, she was like, but deep down I was miserable. I was depressed. I was like, I had like binge eating disorder. I was not, you know, all these things. She was like, I needed help, but no one, she wasn't willing to ask me. And it's like, you just never know what people are going through. You never know what they need. You never know what part of coaching would appeal to them. And so don't just like rule them out just because you don't think they need it. And I know that I've been guilty of this too. So it's a reminder for me as well. Um, again, that's another thing is like, if someone has more followers than you, I used to not invite them. I'd be like, oh, they have like a lot of followers. They probably like, don't want to be like, they wouldn't want me to be their coach because they probably want a coach that has more followers than them. That does not matter. Um, get out of your comfort zone. So on that list that I told you to make, put some people that scare you on there. And that is where like, put them on there and just do it. So Cross to finally get to the first tool. The first tool is a five minute YouTube video. It is a video of me talking. Um, I, I uploaded it to YouTube. I actually have two versions. I have a runner mom version because I feel like that's really my niche. So I'll be like sending that primarily to like people who share a lot of their running online and who are moms. Um, and then I have just a general, like general one. They're both I think they're, I mean, they're good. I, they're, they're great. So they're going to explain at very high level, um, what coaching can do for them and what coaching is. So if, if you want of course you'll want to watch the video in advance, make sure you're on board. You can record your own video if you want, but I highly recommend just using mine because like I said, that's what is the easy part. You're showing them. I don't need to send, I don't need to make my own video. I just send this video. So 
if you want to create your own, I do have a guideline that I can share if you decide to go to do go that route. But um, at the end of the video, I tell them, okay, great. I'm so glad that I got to share this with you. The next step is to go back to your coach that invited you to this and you know get more information. So it's very clear, short, five minutes, they watch it. Um, if they say they watched it, or if you follow up and they said yes, one thing I've been doing is when I send it, I say, hey, can you watch it now? It's only five minutes. So you can say, can you watch it now? Um, and then sometimes I've had people like watch it right then. And I'll say, what interests you most about it? And then based on their response, I'll kind of dig in and ask for some questions. But I really just, then I'm think, and then I say, the next step would be add you to our coach info session on Instagram so you get more details about how coaching works and hear from more women on the team. Would you want me to add you or would you want me to check it out? So that would be basically getting them from tool one to tool two. Because no one's gonna sign up after a five minute video. But the reason I added this in, because I know we've been inviting to the info session straight off, is that I find that a lot of people say they're gonna watch the info session videos and then they never do. And the reason why this is happening is because they don't see that coaching can solve a problem they have of theirs, right? So they don't see it in their lives yet. So the goal with the five minute video is to help them see how coaching can solve whatever problem it is. They're, they need community, they need extra money, they, need, they want time freedom. Those are the ones I am hitting on primarily in the video are time freedom, um, the community and income too. But um, I kind of just touch on all those things that are reasons why coaching is awesome. And just like a passion for, oh, and fulfillment, passion for helping others and for being fulfilled. And that's a big reason why a lot of people on our team join. Um, so that way you can get that across to them without them being in a group and having lots of stuff. So if you haven't followed our coach info session this last time, um, there's two accounts, So, but the people in the second account um, will just add people to theirs. But ours, I changed the name to Team Run the World um, today. If you follow it, you might've seen that. Um, so you can just have people just, add them to the info session and let them know that there's some videos they can watch. And we also have make sure that they watch the highlights. So just say, Hey, you can, um, watch some videos and the highlights. And then like, you know, when do you think, always ask a question, when do you think you'll be able to take a look? And then if they say, whenever they'll be able to take a look, write down when that is and come follow up with them and say, Hey, do we able to watch the videos? What is, which video helped you most, or just ask them a question to get them talking about kind of why they're wanting to coach. Um, or you could say like, whose story affect, you know, impacted you most. Um, and another idea I have for this is actually just a webinar, but I haven't created the webinar yet, but that would be another option for you to send if someone's more like not on Instagram or there's someone who just is more like, I just want to sit down and watch a video. It would have like slides, like Diesel Nation has one similar. Um, it would probably be me talking or maybe me and another person and then with slides so that's not a boring just like my me talking the whole time um, but that's going to be another option you'll have for the second step and oftentimes people are ready after this like the info session is pretty comprehensive and if someone's interested and they've chatted with you a bit they might say they're ready so I would say do you feel like you need more information to get started and if they're like no you know or yes I do need more information this is where this is like an optional tool that you can add. So if someone's like really like giving me like, I don't know, you can always offer, do you want to try, if they're brand new to Beachbody, you can say, do you want to try a sample workout or do you want to try a challenge group? Like maybe they've done Beachbody in the past, but they've never done a challenge group. So this wouldn't be like a challenger, of course. This is like a person from Instagram or from Facebook. Um, you might just ask them if they want to try the sample workout and do the same thing. Ask them when they're going to do it, follow up. Ask them when they're gonna do it, follow up when you see, you know what I mean? Like write down when they say they're gonna do it. Um, because I know I think a lot gets lost in the back and forth. So your last tool, and this could even be step two if this is like your comfort level or your, um, just the way that you like to run. One-on-one -on -one call or in person or just going back and forth with questions via email. Um, but a lot of people have some questions. so. It's a lot of times I find it's easiest to just be like, do you want to hop on the on a, the phone call, a phone call really fast, and then offer a couple times that work. Um, and I find that usually if someone's on the phone with me, I'd say seventy five percent of the time they will sign up because they hear the emotion in your voice, your excitement, and you're able to just answer their questions candidly. 
Um, I recommend on the call, just like asking them what interests you, like, again, what interests you, get them to talk about what interests them in coaching and then say, what questions do you have? Cause if say you say like when you signed up, you're, you were really nervous about the money. If you just immediately blurt out like the money's not that, like you just like start blurting out like all your objections at them, they might not even have the objection of money. Like you don't want to assume for them that that's their objection. So by asking them what questions they have and answering them, you're able to do that. At the same time, like don't overthink the one-on-one -on -one call. Just like be yourself, be human, say like, this is what I love about it. I'd love for you to do it. And like, don't overthink it too much. Just like share you, share what you love about our team and answer their questions. Like don't get stressed out about this part. Um, and like I said, a lot of people don't even need this part, but some people do. So it's important to know that that is another like tool that you have. Um, and the whole reason I'm showing you all of these is because the expectation I think a lot of us have is like, oh, we'll just like invite someone to coaching or at least I used to like, and then they'll be interested and then they'll sign up. And there's just people need to gather information and along the way they might fall off of these things, but it's just important to continue that relationship, continue the momentum and just keep checking in with them because it just might not be the right time. So like I said, if someone's falling off or you're in the middle of conversation with them, that's why it's important to show up on social media in the ways that I talked about earlier, like talking about it on social media regularly, not just one post a month where you're like, I have an info session coming up tomorrow and that's it. You need to be continually talking about all the things that you love about it. I, I would say if you're wanting to grow a team, you need to be talking about coaching as much as you're talking about challenge groups. So that means you're talking about challenge groups a little bit less and you're talking about coaching a little bit more. Um, cause most people through this process are going to fall off at some point. Like I said, look at what their actions are showing you, not what their words are showing you because they might say they're not interested in coaching, but you keep seeing them watching. If you're, if you're an admin on any of our accounts, you can see the people who keep watching our stories on the info session. You better believe I'm following up with those people over and over, or you'll ask someone if they're interested in coaching and they'll say, I don't know if it's for me. That to me means they're interested a little bit. <laughs> they're just not like, they're not sure yet. And so with that, I would maybe say like, why don't you think it's for you? And I would kind of just keep the, you know, keep sprinkling it in. But if, like I said, if you're only talking about coaching every once in a while, it's just not enough reminders. People need to see, be exposed to like all these different things over time to make the decision. Um, and everyone's different. So I've had people literally, I did a post about the info session. They followed the info session. They watched the videos and they're like, sign me up. And I'm like, wait, what? Okay, awesome. And then I've had people that it takes them a year to sign up um, after a phone call, a conversation, watching a video, being in an apprenticeship. It, it's just your job to move people through the tools. It's not your job to convince them because that's not what we're doing. And that's not what I encourage you to do. I just want you to make, help them make an informed decision. That's good for them. Um, along the way, just really explain to them that like, we do have these systems in place and that if they, you know, most people are afraid to fail. So they, they are afraid to start, but if you reassure them that you're going to be there with them every step of the way that we have these systems in place, um, they're a lot more likely to feel like, okay, I can try this. And to be just kind of honest with them about like where, when they do share an objection, say like, yeah, I felt that way too. And this is why I don't feel that way anymore. Um, so I recommend for tracking. I was, I might, I'm going to come up with a little tracker for those of you who want to do this, but I would write down the name of every person who agrees to watch the video. Don't write down I actually do write track down everyone I invite to coaching because I like to follow back up with them. But, um, but anyone who agrees to watch the video, who takes a poll, who follows the info session account, any of that stuff, you want to like write down their names so that you can keep those relationships going and don't just talk about coaching, connect to them as human beings. Cause that's why you're here is to be their friend and to share something in common with them. Um, and so follow up with them at least every other month and maybe in different ways. So the last part of this, okay, let me go back. Does anyone have any questions before I announce the next part? Let me see. I can't see the questions for some reason in this. Does anyone have any? You can unmute yourself if you want.
So all I'm really challenging you to do at this point, I just showed you the entire process, but what I want you to focus on for these, for this fearless recruiting challenge that we're going to do is just to get people to watch the first video. Just get people to say they're going to watch the first video, not even do it. Let me watch it. So we're going to have a fearless recruiting challenge. It starts on Wednesday. It ends on March 3rd, 18th. So it's three, that's supposed to be three weeks, but I think I did the math wrong. That's only two weeks. Uh, let me reannounce the, the dates, but let me just tell you just, I know what you're thinking. You guys are having thoughts in your head. You're thinking, I don't know if I want to do this. This is, or maybe you're thinking, yes, I'm going to do this. Um, you know, I put this presentation together and then after I said it, I was like, it's a little bit more complicated than I want it to be. The main thing I want you to guys focus on is that first step of just getting someone to watch the video, just introducing it, feeling comfortable with someone watching the video. The next steps, don't even worry about those right now. Worry about just getting comfortable sharing coaching. So asking people to watch the video, it's very simple. Um, I have a guide with some invites based on like if they're a challenger, if they are a past challenger who's fallen off, or they're a challenger who like never participated at all. Um, if they're new to Beachbody and things like that, that I can give you as a resource. But um, I really encourage you to do this because I really think it can change the game for you. The thing that changed my business completely was a group called Fearless Recruiting. And it was um, a year and a half in November and it was top coaches and it was very action based. And I think one of the things that we've really failed to do in terms like not all of you guys are in the push to diamond group, but with our upline and um, is we need to be action based, not learning based at this point. We just you're the best way you're going to learn to recruit coaches or to talk to coaches is to just do it. And so by challenging you guys to go out there and start asking people if they want to coach, um, that's how you're going to push back your fears. And like I said, looking at the past and what you've done in the past is never going to get you where you want to go. So let's focus on action. I don't care at all if you enroll a coach this month. I mean, it'd be awesome if you do and you get your first working coach if you're new or you haven't had a working coach yet. That would be awesome. But that's not the point of the challenge. The challenge is action. So I want it to be like a friendly competition and the person who gets the most people to it, this is gonna be on your honor, to agree to watch the video, they don't even have to watch it, just to agree to watch it, who says, okay, I'll watch it, um, you're gonna get a prize to be determined, the prize. Um, if you agree to join in on the challenge, I'm gonna also give you some extra trading with this. So I'm gonna um, put you in a chat so that we can like encourage each other and um, give updates on how many invites we've done and I'll do an, a weekly Q and a to go through your questions. Um, but you can also ask them in the chat so that we can like kind of walk through this, but, um, but yeah. So my suggested invite is if you are ready to go, ready to start this off, that would be 50 invites in three weeks or in one week, remember whatever you want, but that's an average of three to four per day divided by five working days a week. If you're a goal getter, that's a hundred, I want you to do a hundred and a hundred people to invite to watch the video. So that's six to seven a day, which is not that crazy. If you're in it to win it, then just do as many as it takes. And we'll kind of like, you'll kind of get a gauge of how many other people are doing through the chat. Um, is what I imagine. This is what I imagine because I know some of you guys are competitive. I know I'm competitive. I know that it drives me to have little challenges. And when I know that others are stepping out of their comfort zone to do something like this, then I'm going to do it too. Um, and of course, if you don't win the challenge, you get the, this all pays off down the line. Like I've said, you don't just wake up one day and become a leader. You don't just wake up one day and have the team that you always wanted. You don't wake up one day and have the income you always wanted. You have to put in it in advance. And this is the hardest thing about this business is that you're putting in the work and you're planting the seeds and they don't grow for a while. So it, by putting it in now, and I, you'll always just hear me say this, like little by little, little becomes a lot, but this is going to create momentum for your entire year. And if you are going for a rank advancement for Diamond for Summit, this could literally get you there, um, along with the launch of 10 rounds, which I recommend enrolling everyone as a discount coach. Um, but use the system, 
forever. This is not like, I want these tools. And of course, with time, we're going to make them better and we're going to make them. That's the way that things go is I'm nothing's ever perfect. But like I said, we'll have, maybe have a webinar, but the, and maybe we'll make the five minute video better if we're not having as much success, or maybe you'll make your own five minute video, but just use this system and keep doing it. Like this should like each month, if you are wanting to build a team, you should set goals for yourself. How many people can I get to watch the video or how many enrollments can I have? I find that when I set coach enrollment goals, it's like, it swings depending on the month. It's just, it's based on when they're ready. It's, you can't force anyone to be ready. And I don't want to force anyone to be ready. Um, I just want to show them what it's, they is possible. Um, and remember, you can easily teach this to co your coaches by sending them this replay and saying, let's do a little challenge or this system is something that hopefully we can replicate from, for many, for much time. And like I said, we'll probably get better too. Any last questions? Okay, one last thing I want to show you about the summit recognition is this image. So if you want to be recognized as a diamond coach at summit, which I know many of you want to, um, you will need to start your qualification by April 30th, this little dot here, circle, because you need to hold it for six weeks by June 4th. Um, the that way, if you're in, if you're diamond, you'll be recognized on your lanyard. You get a lanyard when you check in and you'll also get to go into leadership training. Number one, there's like two levels of leadership training instead of the like enrolled and regular coaches training, which is great too. So, um, no matter what track you're in, you're going to get so much great information, but I know some of you guys have already been to the other one and you're ready to step it up and to get to diamond and, being in that track is not obviously the only reason you should get the diamond. Diamond is just the very first step to creating a team, to creating the income, to creating the momentum. And it's definitely something you got to be figuring out how to, how to get there. And doing this challenge is going to, will help you. Um, okay. Someone asked something. How do I unmute all of you? Are you guys confused? Is this confusing? Give me feedback. I'm open to it. I've unmuted. I'm trying to unmute. You. Like to watch the five minute video. Are we just saying, are we out? Like, I guess, are we just, is that going to be like the first, I guess, are, are you going to be providing us with like a script and then having them watch it basically right, right afterwards and then putting them into um, the info, I guess like the sneak peek or the coach info session? Yeah, that's the main, the main system is inviting to watch the video, following up with them. I, in my experience, some people watch the video right away and then other people are like, I'll watch it tonight or I'll watch it tonight. I mean, it's five minutes. Like if you can't watch it tonight, this is what I'm saying about the system weeding out the people who aren't interested. If they say they want to watch the video and they can't watch a five minute video, they're not ready to be a coach or they're not interested. Right? So it's like the info session I get, it's a little longer. Like you might genuinely not have time. So this is just a great way to like gauge the interest, get them intrigued. And then if they do watch it, say, okay, great. If you want to move on to the next step and learn more, we can add you to this info session and then get them added to your info session. So you, Tracy does a separate info session. So you would add them to yours. Are you guys going to do it? Shelly's going to do it. Are you gonna do it, Rachel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which Rachel? Both Rachel. Oh, yeah. Which Rachel? Looks like a Rachel Baker, but <laughs> both yeah. Rachels. I need to. I need to move along. <laughs> yeah, you got it there. I mean, I know. I know you. I mean, you're super inspiring and. 
like I said, there's people out there watching who are like, what is, what are they doing? They're watching and thinking, what are you doing? It's not going to be for everyone, but there's more people than you think. I'm usually pretty surprised by a lot of the responses I get even, and even if they don't, like I said, it's just planting a seed. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? So I guess to like officially join the challenge, I'll do a post in my page because obviously not everyone's on this call. So I'm going to give everyone like a day to catch up. And then if you comment and say you're in or drop a gift, GIF, how do you say it? Is it GIF? I don't know. GIF. Yeah, GIF. Then um, I will add you and I will like, everyone will get access to like, I've created like a resource guide with the invites, with the links to the, um, with the links to the thing, but it's mostly going to be focused around those first steps. And like later you can go back and reference. Don't feel like you need to know the whole thing or know what to do. And you can always ask questions. It's just knowing that you're going to send these things and then you know at least the first two steps, right? All right, well, let's go around and each say what is your, um, what's your favorite part about coaching that you, like what would be the first thing you would share on social media about coaching if you had to do a post right now about coaching? I would say probably, I would say the community. Um, I don't have a whole lot of friends in real life and especially running my own business, I don't have a lot of friends at work either. So this is, it's really nice to be doing something with everybody else, but um, we're all working on our own businesses, but together and yeah, the community is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. So yeah, I think a little bit yeah. of the fulfillment side. I went from being a full time work, work out of the home to full time stay at home mom. And that was a huge adjustment moving from the city also to a small town in the country. And so it just was the community and then kind of that personal fulfillment like, how am I connecting with people in the world and how I'm putting myself out there? So. Yeah, I think I get excited about what I have to offer people mm -hmm. more now. Like, I already had people asking me, what are you doing? Or, like, you're inspiring me or whatever. And now I feel like I can, like, tell them and then even more, more go further with them and, and really help them implement that for themselves. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think um, I'm kind of with Shelly too, you know, the community is huge, but I have been in a place before where I was teaching like exercise classes in the gym and I love that like idea of helping someone and not having the lifestyle to be able to do that anymore. This is like a way to do it, um, but to keep it simpler. I mean, people mm -hmm. don't, you know, if they don't want to go to the gym, it's so much easier to say yeah, well, it's at home. And, you know, like you said, Rachel, people are already asking, you know, what, what are you doing? How, how have you dropped weight? How have you? And so it was, it's easier to, to have an easy solution for me. Yeah. And then the accountability is just so wonderful. People are watching mm -hmm. you They're They know what you're doing. You've been posting about it. Why haven't you posted in two days? You know, what Amber, where are your workouts? That's, you know, I get messages all the time. So, um, so I like, the, I love the accountability with it too. Yeah. And as first, and that's coming from someone who has never, I've never invited anybody to be a coach. So this will be like brand, yeah, yeah like jump off the cliff, you know, <laughs> brand new. <laughs> love it. Yeah, I would say helping people would be my first thought. Yeah. I know I'm really coming back to that with the nutrition group because my, as you guys know, my groups are pretty big and I, I do get like a feeling of like, oh man, I feel like I can't like individually help everyone the way I want to. But I also have to realize, like I said, it's in their court, right? 
also like they're in charge of their success, just like you guys are in charge of your success. I also struggle with that with, with being a leader, but um, doing the nutrition group has been really good to give me that extra, like the one-on-one -on -one, or at least even let them know I'm here for the one-on-one. -on -one. I gave them all my number. No one's text. I think one girl did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it feels good. And I feel like people mm. are seeing some big breakthroughs in that. And that's just great. And an excuse to travel to do a race with other people. Like, yeah. I yeah. Can't. Where should we, like, I'm, I am on, I'm starting to think we should do it this year, like at the end of the year. Um, but I thought maybe December is that like there's a <clears throat> Rachel Hollis race in the first weekend of December. But I was like, that's like the holiday season where everyone's really busy. So I don't know. That's a good time. And that Rachel Hollis race is, it's in San Marcos. Is that like a small town? Which is like waste. It, it's in between San Antonio and Austin. So. Okay. So it's like, like if you guys came to Texas, the one that would be really cool is doing the one in Waco. Okay. for magnolia oh, if they yeah. do a half marathon yeah i think that's in may correct i think so i think it's in may yeah because i looked into that and i was just like Ooh. is that hot is that super it's hot, hot in texas hot. it's about 90 you can count on 90 yeah i mean that's what <laughs> that's pretty much what i run in anyway in florida so but i would what, what are your guys's thoughts on like a ragnar relay somewhere where we're all together we're camping or we're like because they do ones where you can do all inclusive camping the camping ones like i'm more into than the van it's glamping <laughs> they set it all up for you and That'd it's really cool one spot so like you're you're camping one spot with everybody and then you run like here in texas you run loops versus a lot of ragnar relays are like point to point mm -hmm. can be yeah, the trail one in Washington is loops too. There are three different loops and everyone runs each loop once. Yeah, that's the same how they are down here in like hill country. So like Austin area. They're really pretty too. But that's trail, so not road. Are there any other, like in the, I don't know, is October, October to December frame? In a, I feel like Texas is a good central place, to be honest, if you guys are there and it's like easy to fly into Texas. So I was actually thinking Texas would be a good. I will put a list together. Okay. And just because like, there's some really cool ones, but it's, some of them can be more remote too. Yeah. Also, yeah, it'd be better because we gave a house and it would be like cheaper in Texas than like in California. Yeah. <laughs> True. I have one thing. Yeah. Once we've decided on a place and a time and a race, can we create a group that also is mainly geared towards how to do a 5K? Or a, like, I'm one of the, what, 1% that don't run, Nicole, so. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I'd love some advice. Um, so at my wed the day after my wedding, my husband and I put on a 5k and that sounds crazy, but it was a brunch and we met and my friend set it up. Luckily she took it over cause I was going to do it, but, um, we just had donuts, bagels and we ran a 5k like on the bay and it was like three people's first ever 5k and it made me so happy. I could like, those people ran their first 5k the day after my wedding. It was very beneficial obviously, but, um. I would love to help you train for your first 5K. I think yeah, so. I could use some. The fact that I even want to do it is probably a step in the right direction, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So definitely a race that has a 5K and a half marathon, and that has houses nearby. <laughs> that would be so fun. All right, we're getting close to 7 o'clock, so we should probably get off. Um, but thanks you guys. And I will post the image. Like I said, don't be afraid. You can do it. And the goal is just to get people to watch the video to learn. And like I said, if you want to record your own, you can, cause it's only five minutes. So the, like I was saying with the third party tool thing is like, you want people to feel like they can replicate it. So like 
you want people to think I could send this video too. So if it's you talking, so this is obviously going to hurt me a little bit in the sense that like the third party tool is myself talking, but um, it's still better to send that than to you to talk. It's, it, it makes sense the more you hear about it, but um, it just shows people it's simple. So I believe you guys can do it. All right, now I challenge you guys to all go out and at least do a story about something about what you love about coaching. <laughs> all right, have a good night. Oh, wait, we didn't take a picture. No, don't leave. <laughs> okay. All right, bye, guys. Bye. bye.